In this video, I'm going to show you what it means to take a combination of a group of objects and then also show you the combination formula and how it's related to the permutation formula. Now the combination is a selection of a group of objects chosen from a larger group of objects in which order is not important. Now the requirements to use combinations is that the n objects have to all be different and none can be repeated. So let's say that I have um, A, B, C, and I want to order these letters. So we can say A, B, C. I can swap my last two letters to have A, C, B. Now I'm going to start with the letter B. So I have B, A, C. Swap the last two letters to get B, C, A. Now start with C. So I have C, A, B. Swap the last two letters and I have C, B, A. Now the number of permutations, the number of orderings of the letters A, B, C I have are six, but the number of combinations I have is only one because order doesn't matter and I, as long as I take A, B, and C, there's only one way to take A, B, and C. Before I introduce the combination formula, let's take a look at another example. In this example, the question asks, how many different ways can you choose numbers when playing Lotto 649? In the game Lotto 649, there are 49 numbers and you need to choose six of them to match to win. Let's say that those six numbers have to be ordered in such a way to be a winner. So because order matters, we have 49P6. So according to our formula, we get 49 factorial divided by 49 minus six factorial. So that's gonna be 49 factorial divided by 43 factorial. Now in reality, actually, the six numbers don't have to be in order. They can be in any order. So one, two, three, four, five, six is the same as six, five, four, three, two, one. So because of that, that means that our permutation answer is six factorial times too many compared to what we should have because the six numbers can be arranged in six factorial ways. So we're going to change this to 49C6. And so we have 49 factorial divided by 43 factorial. And then we have to divide by another 6 factorial. So this gives us the answer of 13,983,864. Ways to play the Lotto 649. So, unless you have almost $14 million, you're really not guaranteed that you're going to win. So, this brings us to the combination formula. So, the combination can be rewritten as C bracket NR, so N items, we're choosing R of them, and CR or N over R, but don't put the line in the middle to show that it's a fraction because it's not a fraction. So, the formula is we start off with the permutation formula which is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. And then notice that we have to divide by an extra 6 factorial here on the question below. So we have to divide by another extra r factorial to account for the fact that those r items are also can be, re re sorry, can be rearranged in r factorial different ways. So we need to divide by the r factorial. All right, so let's take a look at it. one more example here. There are six girls and five boys in student council. In how many ways can you form a subcommittee of five people if there has to be three girls and two boys? So the three girls are going to be chosen from six girls. And the order doesn't matter because it doesn't say that uh, which girls we want. So we have six, C, three. The two boys are going to be chosen from the five boys. So five. C2. Now these three girls has to mix up with these two boys. It's not or girls or boys. It's that we need the three girls and we need the two boys. So all the combinations of the girls has to match up with all the different combinations of the boys. So we're going to multiply these numbers together. So using your calculator, you'll find that you have an NCR button. So we're going to go 6C3, which is going to be 20 times 5c2, which is 10, and then that will give you 200 ways. 
Now, the second scenario is kind of an interesting one. So let's say we want at least three girls. So the first scenario that we can say is that we want three girls and two boys. So at least means that we have to have three girls or more. So this will be 6C3 times 5C2. So that's going to give me 200. Now another situation is going to be four girls and one boy. So now we have 6C4 times 5C1. Again, typing this out, you get 75 different ways. And then finally, we can have five girls and no boys. So we have 6C5 times 5C0, and this gives us six different ways. Now, each of these combinations, the 200, the 75, and the 6, these are all separate. Okay, So we can have three girls and two boys, or another situation is we can have four girls and one boy, and another situation, we can have five girls and zero boys. So what we're going to do with the answers to these is we're going to actually add all of them up. So this will give us 281 ways. To finish off, let's take a look at a couple of playing card questions. So a, deck, a standard deck of 52 playing cards consists of four suits, spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. There are 13 cards of each, and they're numbered from ace, which can be the lowest, or sometimes it's the highest. So ace two, all the way to 10, and then after 10, it goes jack, queen, and king. So if you want to list them, it goes like this, all the way to 10, and then jack, queen, and then king. So the first question is, how many different five card hands can be formed. So we want to pick five cards from 52 cards. So this will be 52 C5. Now the reason that we know it's combination is when we hold these five cards in our hand, it doesn't matter in which order they are in our hand. Some of you will arrange it differently than someone else. So here we have 2,598,000 960 ways to arrange these five cards. Now, the second question here is, how many different five card hands can be formed that consist of all hearts? So this time you only want hearts. So there are 13 cards of each suit. So we're gonna say that there are 13 cards, 13 hearts, and we wanna choose five of them. So this time we get 1,000, 287 five card hands that are only consisted of hearts. Now that you know how combinations of playing cards work, you can now try some other card hands and other poker hands as well.